All right, on our one hot side, we've got 124.3 there now, and 124.3. So she's pretty well perfectly balanced. Hey, what's up guys? So we're on a trouble call right now where the customer complained of high voltage. Now, the voltage is within the acceptable parameters of uh, service voltage for residential customers, which is plus or minus 5% of, of the 122.40 volts. So the voltage here now is uh, 250, the maximum being 252. It's, it's still an acceptable voltage, however, it is a little bit on the, the high end of things. And there's been a few customers that requested a lower voltage, which is is not always an option for sure. We, we just kind of lucked out in, in today's circumstance where the transformer that's on the pole does have an offload cap changer, a little black dial on the top right side of the screen. So the important thing when adjusting the tap changer on a transformer is there's two different types. There's onload tap, tap changers and offload. Um, the offload tap changers, you, you can't change the tap while they are energized. So we're going to have to open the transformer when we do this one here today. We'll check the voltage before and after and see if we can't, can't get that voltage down a little bit. Uh, another thing to keep in mind here. We're, we're on the main feeder, just, just down the road from the substation. So the voltage is generally a little bit higher when close to the substation. As you get further away, there is some, some voltage drop on the line. And then once you get real far away, you'll, you'll run into voltage regulators, which step that voltage back up. Another problem with adjusting the, uh, the voltage on a transformer where it is a 75 kVA, kVA, it's feeding probably six houses here. So it's it's gonna affect the voltage for all six houses. But after after multiple checks, even as the load adjusts throughout the day, this, this one's generally on the higher end of the scale. So we're gonna try to get that voltage down maybe around the, the 122 level. All right, so we did already talk to our dispatcher he, he's aware that we're going to be working on this transformer. We're going to have it off and on at least once, maybe a couple times. Again, the most important thing to know when operating these, these off-load tap changers is they, they cannot be operated while energized. Now where I am by myself today, I can operate the high voltage equipment with rubber gloves and tested sticks. However, I cannot go hands-on on any of the equipment even even if the high voltage is isolated or de-energized we, we have to have a second man on site and i won't be going hands-on on any of the high voltage stuff So let's check the voltage here first before we get started. All right, on our one hot side, we've got 124.3 there now and 124.3 so she's pretty well perfectly balanced on our 240 side we've got 248.8 so like I said a little bit on the high side let's uh, open this guy up as I mentioned in the past, all of our ties on our high voltage insulators are good. No cracks in the cutout, it's the polymer tight.
top side of that cutout is still energized 7200 volts and the transformer no grounds on it there could be back feed but it is isolated we'll be able to operate that tap changer so our label's pretty faded there you can see maybe you can't see we'll remove the cover and right now it's on tap three there's five different taps i can't see the diagram but i believe it's two and a half percent that it will change that voltage so you take the back of the cap we're going to take that arrow and we're going to line it up properly here come on now all right we're going to turn that down to tap two heard the click and the indicator now points at tap two so let's reinstall our cap we're going to give ourselves a little bit more distance here when closing that back in just in case there's any internal faults when we adjusted that mechanical tap setting Check it out. So we're sitting now down at 121.5. And 121.5 across the 240, we've got 243. So the customer will be much happier with that voltage. Sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error. You might have to close it in, check the voltage, adjust the tap again. Sometimes it'll even adjust the voltage a bit too far. Even, even though our lower parameter is 114, I, I wouldn't leave this guy at a setting where the voltage is down below 120. That's pretty much it, guys. Nice, easy treble call, high voltage call. Like I said, I, I, I do want to make it clear that this isn't always an option. In fact, I'm quite surprised this transformer did have the, the offload tap changer available on it as an option. I mentioned this before in an old video guys, when you put your rubber gloves in the rubber glove bag, you put your gloves face up, any debris, especially wood chips from drilling, if it falls in your glove bag, it's not going to go down into the inside of the cuff of your rubber gloves. So it's a good habit to store them in the bag in the upright position. All right, so that's that's good. Customer is happy. Um, usually, the most often time, usually we'll run into this more with commercial customers that are on a pad mount transformer. I think pretty well all of our pad mount transformers have the, uh, the, the tap option. To adjust the voltage so residential side doesn't happen often in this circumstance we spoke to a few customers let them know what we're doing and, and uh, everyone's happy with the, the lower voltage so we're gonna pack her up I gotta meet a guy about 20 minutes away in 19 minutes so we gotta hit the road as always thanks for stopping in guys and see you next time <laughs>